Thanks for joining us on our daily walk through God's Word. Uh, today I'm out in the church cemetery. I just had a chance to interact with the kids from our child care ministry. They were wondering, why am I out here in the cemetery playing with blocks? And my point is, I want to explain to you the last half of Isaiah. Our Old Testament lesson for today is Isaiah 42 and 43. Isaiah chapters 40 through 66 is a very different style book than the first half of Isaiah. In chapter 39 that we read yesterday, Isaiah foretold that the Babylonians would come and destroy Jerusalem. Chapters 40 through 66 is God speaking through Isaiah to generations who were yet to be born who would experience that exile in Babylon. And those 27 chapters, Isaiah chapter 40 through 66, are actually built on three different sections of nine chapters. And each one of those sections of nine is really three little sections put together. So that's what I'm illustrating here by these blocks. So today we're looking at one of the first blocks of the first section of nine. It's Isaiah 42 and 43. And as we read through this first nine chapters, from chapter 40 through 48, the high point is right in the center. The high point is God announcing there is going to be coming someone who will rescue God's people from exile. And 150 years before it happens, God uses the name Cyrus, the emperor of Persia. Persia wasn't even a world power at this time yet. God foretells by name who will rescue the Israelites from Babylonian captivity. But that's just a little foretaste of what's really important in this second part of Isaiah. Chapters 49 through 57, God is foretelling that there is going to be one greater Savior, the suffering servant. And the center chapter is Isaiah 53. And the very center verses of that chapter is, He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on Him. And by His wounds we are healed. So, first it talks about rescue from Babylon, which is just a picture of a greater rescue that we all experience through our Savior, Jesus Christ. And then the last nine chapters talk about what's it going to be like when the suffering servant comes. And the center chapter is this beautiful promise about the bride of Christ, the the new Jerusalem, God's church, celebrating this victory that we have in Christ our Savior. So uh, I'm going to be sending along this sheet that just will kind of outline, and I would encourage you to have this sheet in front of you as you're reading the last half of Isaiah, just because you'll need to remember where are you in the reading. You know, is it talking about Babylon, talking about Jesus, or talking about the church? So I'll attach that to our email. And this fits in with our New Testament lesson because in the New Testament we're reading through 1 Peter. And 1 Peter is speaking to God's people, us in the New Testament, who have also experienced an exile. We are no longer closely connected to the Savior and God promises to send a Savior that gives us hope. And the Apostle Peter talks to us who are scattered in exile here on earth with the fervent hope of the resurrection to eternal life and what difference that makes to us in our lives. So enjoy your reading. Again, it's Isaiah 42 to 43 and 1 Peter chapter 1.